Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today guys. In today's video, we are going to be going in depth with the Mark 27 Assault Rifle, also known as the MK-17. And this was actually the first assault rifle that I went after as soon as I got into the game. And this is basically what this bad boy looks like. It's basically a SCAR, um, a SCAR H, um, correct me if I'm wrong, a SCAR. It's just a SCAR. I'm just going to call it that. It is what it is. Um, it's MK-17 SCAR. It's a very, very good weapon. And this weapon you will actually find in the Flor de Oro region. And if you go in right around the middle of the region, there is a Unidad train freight yard. And if you go up just to the right in the main actual base, it is right here in this building here as seen on the map. And you'll just go right over there. It's basically the armory. And you know, it's a lot of these bases have guns in the armor. You just walk over here, and then boom, you have the MK-17. Um, this is a very, very good weapon. It has a lot of attachments for it, as you guys will see here. This is how I have it set up. Um, I have the extended mag for it. I have the standard barrel. Um, I don't really have a whole lot of attachments for it. So I do have the uh, the Rust Red Dot and G33 scope on it, and the extended butt stock, which comes with it. Um, but uh, overall, it's a very, very accurate weapon. It's very high powered and uh, it's very accurate at long range. As you guys will see here, these guys are almost 200 meters away with a suppressor and there's almost no bullet drop, which is which is actually quite good for an assault rifle in this game. Um, but uh, overall, the thing behaves, you know, it, it behaves like a long range assault rifle. Um, for the most part, this is not going to be your run and gun um, rushing around assault rifle, I guess you could call it. I would steer more towards the ACR if you're going to be doing that. Um, because this weapon does shoot very slow. It only puts out about 550 rounds per minute, which is slow for an assault rifle, but it packs a punch. It's basically, it is the second highest damage of all the assault rifles, um, only second to the ACR. The ACR has a slight higher damage, but it also has less accuracy. The accuracy on this weapon, the MK-17, is extremely high because it has a very short... Um, or not short, it has a very slow firing rate, which honestly you're going to be more accurate with a slow firing rate, and it, and it has a lot of damage. Um, I do not have a foregrip for it yet, and it's it's a little inaccurate if you really lay into the trigger, but for the most part it's it's pretty easy to control. If you combine this with the... Um, with the foregrip and stuff like that, it's going to make it a lot easier to handle, and it's going to be it's going to be the pinnacle assault rifle in the game, in my opinion, along with the ACR. Um, those two assault rifles are probably the best two assault rifles in the game currently. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to actually patch anything in like whatever, because it's most of it's PVE right now. Um, I think they're going to stick to the weapon balancing in the PVP when we get PVP. But uh, that is pretty much all for the MK17 breakdown, guys. I am going to be trying to break down a lot of the weapons in the game, and uh, fear not, I will get to the weapon that you want eventually. Um, I'm going to try to go through some of the weapons that I've already got, that I've already got, and uh, that I really enjoy using, and then we will go right on down the line. So uh, make sure to stay tuned to the channel for all of that. But that is pretty much all for the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, you guys are excited about the Mark 17. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have actually got this weapon yet, or if not, are you guys going to go get it right now after you watch this video? Um, I will say this. Even on the easiest difficulty, we actually went into that base and got it on uh, the uh, third highest difficulty, which I believe was advanced. It was still very hard to get on the easiest difficulty, let alone that, because that base is the one of the most heavily guarded bases in that region, let alone in the entire map. So it's a really hard base to get into, but it does reward you with the Mark 17 assault rifle. And uh, I think you guys will really enjoy it when you guys unlock some attachments for it. But uh, that's pretty much all for the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. Also, if you guys are new around here, make sure to subscribe for more Ghost Recon Wildlands content. I'm trying to be putting out a video every single day and then at least streaming once or twice a week. So if you guys do not want to miss any of that, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.